I saw that uh, I think it was an employee at the Luxor Hotel got is that paint on my face? An employee at the Luxor Hotel got coronavirus, and one of my favorite pe well, my favorite person that works that that lives in Las Vegas, I think I don't know who all lives in Las Vegas, but but my favorite person I've met in Las Vegas was at the Lux works at the Luxor Hotel. It was just this really fun girl, or these two girls were really fun. And, um, I feel like there are a lot of people that feel like the coronavirus is creeping up on them. And, um, for some people, I almost, I almost feel like it, it's almost better just to get it <laughs> than to get it over with. But, um, it, that's not true at all. Um, because the fatality rate is high enough that you don't want to get it. Um, and I'm sure it's very, very brutal to go through, but I do, I do think you get immunity no matter what you get. Like, I, I know some people are getting it again, but I feel like you get immunity no matter what. Um, probably some people have different immune systems, but, um, and then I was at the store, I was at Walmart and this guy was talking about like alien viruses. It was like two o'clock in the morning. He was like, people are, he's like, people are freaking out, but he wasn't talking to me. Um, he was talking to someone next to me, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, like, it sure seems like this virus, like just from China, like how how China beat it. In China, if there's anywhere in the world that you would think that the virus would kick their ass, it'd be China, because everyone's afraid to go to China because they're afraid they're going to get sick from the food because people don't use soap. But in the United States, people use soap a lot more. Um, but I don't know. As far like. Do I think it was racist of Trump to call it a foreign virus? I think that was bullshit. Because, I mean, like, this fighting the virus isn't an American thing. It's going to be a world thing. And if you're, if you're treating it like that, oh, it's a foreign virus. Oh, well. I mean, do you, do you want to call it that? Because it was clearly written in the speech. And that's the thing. It's like, um, it's the same thing as, like, when I, when I said you need to figure out how to um, be a civil person with the other side of the aisle, like you should, like, or you, and you need to shut up your son, like Donald Trump Jr. He, it's like complete lack of civility because you're trying to appeal to these people that feel lack of civility towards liberals also. But the thing about liberals is they're not all the same. It's kind of like Republicans. They're not all the same. There are like real compassionate Republicans, like compassionate conservatives. And then there are like what, like, Ku Klux Klan guy conservative and then there's like um religious I'm super confused I have no idea why I'm conservative but that is because Jesus wants me to be conservative conservatives but there are there are a lot of different types of conservatives and then there are the gun conservatives that like it's like manly to be conservative and but no matter what it sure seems like it uh well a lot of the time it is very pro um use of military not just pro military but use of military um, but that's cause we, we need to support our troops. But if you're a Christian, you would think that you would be way less pro violence. And that's, that's the thing about people that don't like, no matter what you think about me running for president. Um, when I say there won't be any drone strikes in Pakistan without my authorization, I don't think you understand, uh, how much of a pro peace president I am, but then also like, my mouth has been a big stick in the past and like once once you've said it you don't have to say it again so it's like well Donald Trump will drop an anchor with England on England before an economic negotiation that I wouldn't do I, I say that but then I've, I've been pretty tough about like well I would seriously um, consider caution with my economy with my economic relations with England if, if they need to be cautious um but, um, I don't know. All, all I'm saying is, um, what am I saying? I forgot. Whatever I just said. <laughs> the coronavirus is serious. And I understand it's scary. And, um, but still, I, I thought it was priority to die. I bought like a million tubes of paint. If I'm, if coronavirus is coming, everyone's got their toilet paper. I've got my paint. <laughs> as long as I have paint, everything's fine. But it's because I can make toilet paper. <laughs>